Hello, hello, and welcome to this video where we'll talk about installing your favorite programming language or your required programming language on Ubuntu. So you might be stuck in one of these two scenarios. Number one being that you already have Linux installed and this is not the screen you see every day. And the second is this is your screen. So you have Windows, but you are told that you have to install Ubuntu via WSL or as a Windows subsystem correct so if you are going to uh, install python node.js or any other programming language in vs code or any other compiler on ubuntu you can skip forward this part because this is where we'll talk about installing ubuntu as a subsystem so the first thing we have to do is first go here and write windows features which you see here and you wait for the options to show up and this option that you see here uh, Windows subsystem for Linux it will 90% or even 100% be unchecked in your system if it is checked you don't have to do anything but if it is unchecked you have to check it when you check it that means when you enable it there will be an update going on and that is why I did it early because it will tell you to restart your system once you have it so I already did that. My system is restarted. Of course, I've been using Ubuntu in my main system. This is just for the tutorial. Okay, let's carry on. Now, the next step, you have enabled Windows subsystem. Now, what you have to do, you have to go to Microsoft Store. It should be lurking there in your taskbar. If it's not, just write Microsoft Store and it will show up. Once you open Microsoft Store, if you are not logged in as a Microsoft user, you will be told to log in with your email, which I am not. I'm already logged in, so I don't have to do that. So do log in with your email. If you don't have an account, you probably have. Create one. And then just write WSL. And once you write WSL, you will see many options. We are going to go with 22.04. Many might tell you a version specific like 18.04 or 2020.04. If that's the case, you can search for that particular version. But me, however, I'll go with this 22.04. I'll click install. It is like 500 to 600 megabytes. It will take some time to install. So let that carry on and we can wait until it's done. All right, so we have it installed and as you see we can launch it So I'm going to go ahead and launch it Microsoft Store. Thank you. Your job is done Let me just check uh, Yep, We are live Okay, this will take a few minutes and while this is happening, let's talk about why Ubuntu is better. Ubuntu is just so much better for installing your packages. It is more secure, it is more stable and it is designed for programming and like activity like this. So it's just something you would want for let's say prof being professional and also being like just avoiding unwanted issues and going on websites downloading packages by clicking download and those things you don't have to do any of those all you have to do is just install using package manager all right our installation is done so we can just create one account and here the password I'm writing the password you don't see it but I'm actually writing it okay we are good to go we have our Ubuntu installed I'll just tell you a few things if you want to know where you are you can just uh, first thing is you can just see your direct is using LS we're in home so we don't have anything here if you want to go back just do this CDDD stop stop and then LS okay this is your system so if you want to go to somewhere just click CD we are usually at home so and then the user so CD was seen all right nice we're good to go if you want to see your space and everything just do DFH that will tell you all the things but these are not something you need let's go and get back to business we will need to download Microsoft Visual Studio on Windows so you come to the main page you wrote you wrote download Visual Studio and you probably ended up here so download this I have already done this part so I'm just going to install it open okay
I think it's just fine to let it just keep installing. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and install the other things. So there is a very high chance that you already have Python there. So just to check, just write Python 3 and click. See, it's already there, Python 3.10. So you don't have to install Python. All right. Python is already installed. I repeat, just write Python 3 and you see we have Python 3.10.12. It's already there. So the part of the video where I said how to install Python, it's already done. But if you don't have it, you can write sudo apt get install. Oh man. Uh, it's already there so it won't work but for you it will work if you don't have it okay so this is the command and we're going to launch visual studio okay so this is an important part because when i am launching visual studio notice on the left here so this is actually if you don't see anything written there this actually means that you're using windows all right so that's not what we want we want other options as well let's just wait it's loading up uh, yeah, let's... if you don't get the option WSL automatically just go to this page where do you have extensions and install WSL all right but in many cases it's act it actually comes within so you don't have to insert but uh, in this case, just go here in this extensions, Control Shift X. You can write WSL and then you can install it. All right, it is installed. Now, once you install this, you will see this option say dub, connect to WSL. Do that. Over here, notice it's saying opening remote. So wait for it. This is the first time, so it will take some time. Meanwhile, we have, we have already installed Python, so the only thing left is Node.js, correct? Okay, so here you are. I was looking for you. Anyway, close. You're useless now. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So if you are already on Ubuntu, that's also one thing that I told you. If you're already on Ubuntu and you need to install it, you can just go back to that tab and you see you can download this dip package if you're probably in Debian system this is the one if you're in uh, CentOS and other things just choose the system that you're in download the package and then just do the install command with that file it's pretty straightforward in that case also but our focus today is primarily for those who are in Windows and want to do the WSL okay you can let me know in the comments if you have any questions and of course there's chat GPT anyway so we are going to install node.js 22 plus I'm just going to copy this command this is the or official source of distribution you can fi find this page if you I will like leave the link in the description all right so here Okay, by the way, do you see it's now WSL Ubuntu 22.04, right? So that means we are in WSL now. But how do I know? Just uh, go to this. Do you see this command? Just or you can just do Control J, but I'll just make it simpler. Do this. And you see terminal. Okay, this looks familiar, right? This is the same thing. So let's just verify if we are there. Yes do the same thing that I did there ls yeah we are in Ubuntu now so I'll just write home Wasim and then let's test Python 3 yes we have Python 3 as well okay that takes care of it and now we will install node.js the thing I come com copied from there it's prompting me for password I will write it of course it's the same password this is just Linux in your this is this terminal has although it's inside VS code but it is your actual terminal that means whatever you do on the main CMD you can do here okay now we are waiting for WSL to run 
or sorry for uh, node.js to be installed and then I will show you a very basic startup script for both of them and then you're good to go but the part where you install WSL and set up VS code and have it running on your WSL connected this part is done all right I hope things went smoothly for you if it didn't just let me know in the comments and I will be glad to help because not everybody can get it done sometimes it throws random weird errors but there's a solution to all of them all right while this is going on I will just create a folder and I opened the main folder which is home and I'm now going to tell you how to get started with the already installed Python yeah just say yes I trust doesn't really matter even okay I think my last command did work out we can check it by just writing node.js node yes it is there okay so we have installed node.js and we have installed python now let's create a python file okay now before getting started with python this is what you do write python 3 slash m when this is not something you have to write but what i actually did is uh, okay on the end you need to install python 3 all oh, right 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 sorry so of course i have to do this sudo apt get let's see yeah so what i'm doing trying to do here actually is i'm going to set up a virtual environment for python this makes your package installation much much simple so you don't want to install packages globally because that's going to be too many packages let's say you're doing project a and you're doing project b project a has a list of packages project b has a list of packages if you have requirements.txt file which has a system of those like a list of those packages you don't want to install it, it every time for your project right so that's why i did this so if you just click arrow it will bring back that command and I'm going to do now the Python 3 command that I told you and this might take a little time but this should be done anyway while this is going on I'll just create a file and that is test.py this will be where we'll do Python and test.tur.js this is where we'll do note okay it's done so if it's done actually you have to activate it so what we'll do source ramp bin activate now if you see on the left you see you are inside the virtual environment so now you can let's say you have a file that is uh, not not inside here you probably have a file that says requirements.txt which has a list of let's say requests maybe a uh, numpy okay so list of packages right so how do I install them just write python 3 you have to be in the same directory by the way python 3 sorry not python 3 pip3 install for installing that list just write r requirements.txt okay this will install your request or numpy and any other things that you put and you might see hey hey where are these coming from these are actually the dependencies so this will be automatically installed all right so when you come out of this virtual environment you don't have to you don't have to have you will not be having those packages and you don't have to install them like in the next time so in a new project you can install that package separately on that folder so your system doesn't get messed up with like loads of packages all right we are good to go now I'll just write print hello we did it and uh, Python 3 if you want to run the text you just write the file test.py hello we did it so that's how you do Python and you can also test your imports 
request it will not show up now because it's we just installed it but it will it is actually there all right that takes care of python we won't spend too much time on it now like node so console.log we did it oops not there not there not there node test I didn't do one part so yeah because one thing we have to do is we have to first right npm i wait what does it say oh, of course we don't have the package installed correct Ooh, that was weird but this is just npm i will only work if you have a package.json which we don't have so usually what happens is you get you use github to uh, clone a package and then just run it so that's the habit i have because we don't usually start new projects anyway so the other command that you did to, you probably won't need it but to start a fresh project this is i'll just gonna leave them okay okay now we have this package.json which is empty but i'll show you so we can write npm i express you probably need express that's probably why you have node to have an express system so i'm going to install express okay now see express is here it has been added now my code should work node what is the name i gave it Tester.js. yeah we did it so this is basic python starting the the focus was oh i didn't say that our focus was to start the uh, setup with wsl you have wsl you have vs code you have everything ready now you're good to go <coughs> Thanks a lot for watching and if you have any questions you can let me know.